What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Regulation D Moveset Guide video. Today we're going to be tackling Typhlosion Hisui. Now, Typhlosion Hisui is an interesting one. Um, I don't think it's actually like an incredible Pokemon, but it does have a really big niche in that it is a pretty fast fire type uh, with a ghost typing, which makes it immune to uh, fake out obviously. Uh, that also has access to eruptions, so I think that's going to be its big niche. However, we are going to talk about some of the traits that it has that makes it uh, pretty useful, as well as its signature move, Infernal Parade, uh, that can have it combo with some Pokemon and deal some pretty massive damage. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my comment question of the day, which is, what Pokemon should I cover next? Anyways, let's get into it. Also, I recorded a showdown live with Hisui and Typhlosion, uh, with Brady in the main event, uh, and that's going to be going up uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyways, this is going to be another quick one. Typhlosion is a very, very straightforward Pokemon. We're just going to talk about its stats, what it does, and some uh, decent partners for it. So, let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah. Typhlosion Hisui has 73 HP, 84 attack, 78 defense, 119 special attack, 85 special defense, and 95 speed. And I suppose I should bring up the um, old Typhlosion to just compare it to. So, here. Typhlosion compared to, um, or Typhlosion is sweet compared to the other Typhlosion is basically just, it's a little bit less bulky. It loses some HP. It goes from 78 HP to 73 HP. Its special attack gets increased by 10 and its speed, uh, decreases a little bit. Obviously, I think it'd be a little bit better if it had that 100 speed, but it does sacrifice that 100 speed, um, to just gain access to that ghost typing, which is in the end, I think worth it just because uh, it allows you to threaten a lot of things on lead, make it so Pokemon um, aren't going to want to click fake out into you. Uh, and you do have Terra Fire, which will drop that uh, ghost typing, but uh, allow you to power up your eruption. And honestly, it's sort of like a 50-50. So no one's really going to click fake out into you um, like 99% of the time. But yeah, um, it does have access to this exclusive move called Infernal Parade, which is basically just a powered up hex. Hex, I believe, or no, it's not a powered up hex because if we actually take a look at hex, I keep having to pull up stuff. My bad, guys. Here, check out hex on this thing. So hex is 65 base power um, and it doubles if a target's already status. Uh, but the thing is, this version of hex, Infernal Parade, is actually going to go ahead and have a chance to burn the target, which is really cool. Um, it's like uh, it's like a Will-O-Wisp mixed with hex. However, that 30% burn I think most of the time isn't going to be worth that low base power, so I think you're going to want to combo into it with a few things, which we'll cover on this side of the video. But yeah, as far as a main ghost stab, I would say that if you want to run Infernal Parade, you could, but for the most part, Shadow Ball is going to be a little bit more consistent unless you um, have a specific plan you're going with. Sort of like how uh, with Fluttermane, like you'll have Glamora plus Fluttermane with Hex. Uh, this guy's going to want to do the same. Uh, however, it does also just have access to Hex. So I would say the only reason you would run it over Hex is for that extra chance to get that burn, uh, which could be pretty useful. As far as other things, I think that um, Protect Heat Wave is like a decent, like just a couple of moves. You want to run Protect to uh, keep your Focus Sash intact. And you would actually want to run Terra Blast Grass, I think. Um, Grass is a pretty good defensive typing for uh, Hisuian Typhlosion because of the fact that uh, it's a fire type. It's going to allow you to resist those water moves as well as uh, ignore Pokemon like Amoongus. Uh, and yeah, it has two abilities. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to recommend Blaze. So the reason I think Blaze is useful is because Focus Sash is going to be a thing that you're going to run most of the time. Um, if you get hit down to your Focus Sash, your Heat Wave is now Choice Specs boosted. As far as Frisk goes, in ladder, yeah, go for it. Um, but in tournament and on showdown where you have the option for open team sheet, I think you're better off just not running it because Frisk is very useless in that in that uh, version of the game. So yeah, the next set I'm gonna run is probably gonna be the set that you're gonna see more often. Um, for this one, you could run Frisk because there's a decent chance you're never gonna really drop to your Blaze. Um, but I think Blaze is still technically better. The set is going to be max speed, max special attack, 4 HP, tip in nature, choice scarf, eruption, overheat, shadow ball, and extra sensory. So yeah, um, Hisuian Typhlosion with that scarf is going to be outspeeding basically everything that isn't like booster energy or Regieleki or, you know, tailwinded. 
uh, but it does still need a little bit of a, of a boost from other things uh, like Tailwind from Tornadus. So for that reason, you could also technically switch out to Choice Specs uh, and you're still hitting 155, which is the uh, I outspeed Iron Bundle with a booster energy after a Tailwind speed tier. So that could be very useful. Actually, can you go Modest and still hit that? I don't believe you can. No, you can't. You have to be timid, uh, which means, yeah, you're almost never going to run Modest on this thing. Otherwise, uh, Iron Bundle with a booster energy will just absolutely annihilate you. Uh, but yeah, 150 base power eruption coming off a stab with Terra Fire is absurdly strong. It is a move you're going to click turn one after clicking Tailwind. Uh, and of course, you know, you know, Terra Ghost or Covert Cloak Tornadus is going to be like a really good partner for it. Overheat is going to be your other fire stab because you just want to pick up KOs. It is a very powerful move. Um, Shadow Ball is going to be your main ghost stab. Like I said, uh, if you want to run Infernal Parade, you can. But if you're running Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, you're going to want that immediate damage, so I don't recommend Infernal Parade most of the time. An extra Sensory or Terra Blast, depending on if you want to keep Terra Fire or not, um, is going to be your final move. This thing actually, it, it kind of upset me. It kind of upset me. It didn't get Earth Power, which I'm like, how is it going to get Earthquake and not Earth Power? This thing doesn't look like it could cause an Earthquake if it tried, but no. Uh, extra Sensory will allow you to just hit those uh, fairly common Terra Poison types, which honestly, uh, usually I would say Extra Sensory is bad coverage, but if this is all it gets, yeah, it's not the worst. It also has a chance to flinch, which, you know, could come in clutch once in a while. But hitting things like Lamora, um, Terra Poison, Ting Lu, those sort of things, uh, that is going to be fairly useful in your games. But yeah, let's move on to some partners. I think that his doing Typhlosion, like I said, is very straightforward and there isn't too much to it. Glamora. Glamora is going to be a phenomenal partner um, because, you know, it is a decently strong offensive rock poison type. But it does have that uh, ability Toxic Debris along with Mortal Spin. Mortal Spin, of course, will poison both opponents uh, and allow the Hisuian Typhlosion to go for powered up Infernal Parades. Uh, it also just is like a really nice hyper offense mon. If you if you have a Tailwinder on the team or, you know, a Rillaboom, it also synergizes with these guys. So uh, for the most part, like your team's going to just come together pretty cohesively if you just put these two on one. Uh, Tornadus. I actually, uh, did, I actually did build a team yesterday uh with this pokemon and tornadus is a phenomenal partner bleak wind storm uh plus tailwind taunt and sunny day uh in a covert cloak will allow you to consistently get off your scarf eruptions and deal as much damage as possible uh, it also does beat opposing pokemon that um your typhlosion wouldn't really want to deal with like or i guess taunt is like the main thing like if your opposing amoongus wants to go for uh, a terra water to live your eruption and put you to sleep uh, Tornadus will be able to shut that down with Taunt, as well as just opposing Trick Room Pokemon. Despite this thing having a pretty decent special attack set at 119, your Shadow Ball isn't even going to come close to one-shotting a Cresselia, so having that option to shut down the Trick Room is going to be essential to winning. And yeah, Rillaboom, like I said, is going to be just a, a, a Pokemon that can just deal with, like, Pokemon that this thing doesn't want to deal with, specifically Water types um, and Ground types. Rillaboom not only will decrease the power of uh, Earthquake coming from opposing Landorus, but it will also, because of Grassy Surge, people are going to ask, like, how does it decrease that power? Yeah, grassy Surge, Sense of Grassy Terrain, Grassy Terrain decreases the power of Earthquake specifically for some reason. Uh, but yeah, it also has access to Fake Out uh, to allow for your uh, Scarf Eruption to go for that Eruption turn one. Uh, grassy, not Grassy Glide, but um, Drum Beating is a move that can actually decrease the speed of opponents, so... If you're running a non-scarf set, you could actually go for a protect plus drum beating, lower the speed of something, and then go for your eruption, which could be a very useful tool. Uh, knockoff is great for just dealing with like bulky Pokemon with uh, leftovers. And yeah, you just deal with like Terra Water Pokemon and Terra Ground because Rillaboom can just absolutely one-shot them with a very powerful wood hammer coming off a base 125 attack. Finally, Amoongus, I actually think is a very good partner for this, as it is a good partner for basically anything in this game. Uh, it does have access to Rage Powder to defend the partner Pokemon, or the partner Typhlosion from Water type attacks, but also it does have access to Spore, which does actually combo with um, Infernal Parade. Uh, if you want to go for Protect plus Spore, then next turn you can go for Infernal Parade into it and deal a ton of damage. Uh, and yeah, it works a lot like Glamora, just how synergistically it can go for status and then Infernal Parade cleans things up. But honestly, if, if you're going to do that, I still think that you want to go with Hex. Yeah, Infernal Parade can burn, but it, it's like a Scald. It's not going to do that much, right? I don't know. Infernal Parade feels like a, a bit of an underwhelming move for the most part, unless you're playing singles, in which case, yeah, Infernal Parade's actually pretty decent. But yeah, 
Uh, that's gonna be my guide for uh, Hisuian Typhlosion. There isn't too much to it. I think it's one of the most basic Pokemon in the game, uh, but it is gonna be a very fun one. I think I am gonna use Infernal Parade just for, I don't know, for the, for the culture, you know. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The showdown live with Hisuian Typhlosion will be up tomorrow at 3.30. See ya.